now our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, USA, Ricky Boy. And now we can see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record now. 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Imagomeda! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room? Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready to fight? Ready. All yeah. right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's go. Oh, beautiful takedown. And now is where things could get really interesting. He's now working from side control again. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's back to side control. Working from the mounted crucifix. Excellent movement here on the ground. That's a nice clean shot. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Big shot from the bottom. Good control, postures up. His eyebrow is cut. And full back. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the oh, we'll ground. see if he can lock in on the choke. From the north-south position to get the choke, what he wants to do is get his arm under the back of the neck. Once he's got the arm under the back of the neck, and he's out. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Under three minutes remain in round one. Joe tagged him with the overhand there. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Nermako Medov. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Those feet and I'm looking for a guillotine. He escaped the guillotine. Excellent posture here. Nice shot to the head. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Back to full guard. Very nice. Good hammer fist. Wow. Excellent movement here on the ground. Into 
side control again. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's back into side control here. And he's gonna try to take the back. Back to full guard now. He's now back to half guard. He's moved back into side control once more. Oh, nice punch there by Nermago Meta. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Under a minute to go in the round. Now he's in full guard. That strike will count. Yeah, he's back in the half guard here. That cut on his cheek is really nasty. They may stop this fight. He transitions to full mount. It looks like he's trying to set up an arm bar here. He's got that arm bar locked up. Throw the leg over the face. Break the grip. That was a deep arm but a beautiful escape. He's working from side control. And he gets reversed. And he establishes full mount. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of his cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cutman can only do so much and Given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. Let's see it one more time. Listen, breathe, relax. I need you to get out there and keep this fight on your feet. I want you to avoid that takedown. Feel it? Ariane Celeste in the building. gets with that choke and if you're not willing to tap out as he was not then you're going to go to sleep and that's exactly what happened a beautiful setup and even better technique to get the finish to put him out cold and here's the end of the fight let's see it one more time got the arm in deep under the neck locked in tight and it's over before they even get a chance to tap and here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop for this contest at 47 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter sharing a moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. 
He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well, that should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving forward. Tonight, though, as I mentioned, all about the celebration, and it is on in the corner.